And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Shen. It's going to be our first deck for Rank Up Sunday. For those of y'all newer to the channel, on Sundays we play some real good decks that we did well with um, throughout the week. So decks that we went like 4-1 and 5-0 with. Decks like that or um, some more um, established tier 1 decks. That's what we kind of do on Sundays. And um, we're going to start with my favorite deck from this past weekend or past week. Lulu Shen. Um, you know, we've only played for the new set came out on Wednesday, so it's only been about four days now. Um, so, you know, I don't have a lot of days to choose from, so we're going to be playing this and uh, Tarek Draven. Those were our two decks that we went 5 0 and ranked, and then also with Trundle Vi, where we went 4 1 with that one. And then I'm going to be playing an Aurelian Soul Leona deck, which we played a couple of different Aurelian Soul decks, um, but kind of combining the power of Leona and Aurelian Soul and uh, going with. A bunch of Celestials and Daybreak. And I'm expecting that deck to be pretty good, so we'll have that one also. Tomorrow, of course, we have Meme Tier Monday. It's where we play some some decks that do a little bit crazier things. Um, and got a lot of donation decks for Meme Tier Monday, so we're going to be doing that tomorrow. And then uh, we'll be back at it with just normal decks on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, a lot more donation decks to get to. And yeah, we'll be continue to play all sorts of different stuff. So this is kind of the, the one day a week where we... Kind of go back and, and replay some of our um, best and most popular decks. All right, but Lulu Shen is the, like I said, it's the deck that I, I enjoyed the most. It's the deck that, that really plays to my, um, uh, I don't know, my play style. Uh, we're going to be aggressive, and we're going to try to curve out, and we're going to be using our units to support each other and uh, help win combat. Got lots of combat tricks in here with Ranger's Resolve, Repost. I mean, you can, we can be using single combat for a, a combat trick. And uh, Stand United at the top end. Stand United is a, a real big part of this deck of surprising people and doing well. Um, it's hard, to, really hard to play around Stand United. And so we have stand, two Stand United, Chen's Champion spell, Stand United. That's going to be a big part of our deck. Took out the Laurent Protégé, or not, not Protégé, sorry, the Laurent Chevalier that was in uh, the four mana slot and just playing two Swiftwing Lancers instead. And I think I like Swiftwing Lancer more than the dragon, the five mana dragon, the new Demacia dragon with four or five challenger. It, it's so close though. I can I can see playing the dragon instead. I just, I like this last breath, create a random elite. Sometimes it's not very good. You know, sometimes you get like a, a real, you know, crappy elite that's not any good, but sometimes it's really impactful. Sometimes you get like a six mana Scythria and it's awesome. So I'm just going to be keeping this. So, all right, we're going to go play over in ranked. Looks like we are at, um, what is this, platinum one, I think? Whatever whatever the ranks reset to. I think platinum. And then, yeah, I think this is platinum. And then, so if we get through platinum one, we'll be in diamond. I think that's how it goes. And then, uh, and then we'll try to get to a master rank after that. But it's going to be a little bit. I don't know if we can get all that in one day. <laughs> What's up, Vladimir? All right, so we're still going to be playing five games. You know, we're still going to be going through our normal schedule. All right. So I feel like Twisted Fate Swain's a really good deck. Um, playing against it, just tough games. Um, I don't really like the Young Witch for this matchup because of Make It Rain, Twisted Fate Red card, all that kind of stuff with ways to do one damage. They got a few. So while we could attack immediately for five... Thinking that the most most likely thing here is they have Petty Officer. Dang. I think it's still worth playing Lulu because Lulu is very good. Alright, and I will trade my one drop with one health for their three drop if we are able to. Ravenous Flock's a good card. And 
and they did have Petty Officer. I'm not sure which one I want to play more, or like which which one would I rather have, Die Lulu or Protege? I mean, I guess it's Protege, but you know, because this of course could be Noxion Fervor that does four damage. Looks, uh, that's what I'm guessing it is. Okay, Death Hand with the three damage. Hey dragon, thanks for thanks for joining the stream. And what's up, Vladimir? Welcome. Hmm. Here I am. Wherever here is. No, kill the young witch. And delta damage to the protege, and put this green blade caretaker down to one health. That was just such a great card. And Punish just has all the answers. That's what I'm saying. Whenever I, like this deck is really difficult to play against. Oh, finally, really, Rangers Resolve can have had you last turn. So I can block both of those and give and you know either stand united or rangers resolve. I don't really see the risk of going rangers resolve besides putting my things down to one health. So I think it's pretty safe to block and rangers resolve. It's like twist if a red card doesn't punish me for this. These woods protect their own. Um Make it rain doesn't punish me for this for now until next turn, but next turn I'd have the stand united. I guess I have the six mana for Stand United. So I kind of want to play this Genevieve Elmhart to heal these things. Let's take the eight. I'm going to play Genevieve Elmhart. Stop having that card. Dang. Well, it did not work out playing the Genevieve Elmhart. Another petty officer and... In that arachnoid sentry. Ouch. This does not work out because, you know, now we're in prime uh, Riptide Rex position with it. They have Warning Shot and Rex also. That hurt. Especially that sentry. At least red card doesn't kill all my stuff anymore. Gotta go with the flow.
lost a fair game. We played one. All that glitters. I'm sorry. I want to play the Elmhart on my turn. And get that buff on on my turn, but I guess not. The wood could fight back, but I can't. Yeah, they have had all these answers, haven't they? Just this entire time, answer, answer, answer. Two damage to Lulu and one to me. Please, not a Riptide Rex, but that's what it feels like. Can they call me a shark? Great hand. Officer is so good. Can't even, can't even attack with these Green Glade Caretakers. They still have three cards in hand. Too good. All right, GGS. This one looks like it is over. Too bad we had a good run. But the the three arachnoid sentries that was the the card that was just amazing every single turn. Arachnoid sentry, always stunning Lulu. Card that was amazing. Could protect it with repost, but it's kind of like what? What's really the point? This repost would protect my unit and kill Petty Officer. Of course, we didn't have one of our champions, the Shen. Shen is a great card in this matchup because it has five health. It's really hard to kill. 
and it gives the barriers which lets us attack with our challengers a lot easier and stuff too so we did not have it's it's honestly probably my best card and we did not have our best card and they had a lot of great stuff and there we go ggs all right so own one It's not like an unwinnable matchup or anything like that. They, they had a very good hand. I wouldn't mind playing against it again and trying again. Not a good hand for us. I'll keep the Bright Seal Protector, but it's not a card that I want to play on turn two, but I just want, I need to have cheap units. All right, with the Green Glade Caretaker, now it's a card that we can play on turn two. I am one with the land. So Draven Ezreal going to be another control deck that's trying to kill all of our units. So just like the last matchup, we want to have like Ranger's Resolve Honor guide me. is important. These threats with a large amount of health are important. Shen's important. I wish I could play like Lulu plus have single combat available this next turn. That's a great use of Draven. Hmm. Maybe I just shouldn't have played Protege at all. I just mistake playing Protege at all, and I should have just passed and, and used my mana. Or sa saved my mana with these single combats. Got to should have slowed down a little bit. Got to slow down. Anything that can kill this Ezreal. Strength and grace, beauty in the place. A one mistake on turn three playing the protege. Gonna hurt me quite a bit. It's gonna hurt me quite a bit. I could have responded with one single combat there, then I would have a 3-2 still alive. And then my 2-4 would have challenged. Like, this game would have completely changed if I just did not cast Protégé on 3. Uh, for now... Blocking with the Draven allowed them to get that um, Spinning Axe that they then got to discard with the Zonite Urchin.
I discard Ravenous Block. Dang, their hand is good. Run them They're discarding Ravenous Flock? This is such an awkward hand that I have. Uh, such an awkward hand. That's such a bad use of Stand United, but... Don't want to draw four of our 12 spells. Well, I guess five because we drew that single, that other single combat that I already used. Ugh. Do not want all these spells. That's a good card. But maybe too little, too late. Let's see. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Two worlds, one balance. So did want to, so want to play that this turn so I could have Stand United to kind of help protect it. So I go. A pretty poor hand for us. I mean, we had we had a good turn one, turn two, turn three, I guess. But I mean, if I just don't play my turn three, I played really bad. I, I just should not have played my two four. That really cost me. But it was really awkward how all of my units had two power and all of their their champions had their champions have three health and my units have two power and I have all those single combats. Just not a good card for that matchup. Yeah, we got out controlled these two games so far um let's see so i want to keep shen young witch is kind of weird it's great young witch is a great attacking unit but it's really poor on defense against challengers and misfortune I'm gonna look at these and try to find challengers and um, war chefs, stuff like that. Okay. These woods protect their own. Should have blocked the first time. Worst case scenario, they have they have the great hand of tracker into war chefs. That's why I was mulliganing looking for. Looking for trouble. It found you. Oh, that's great. That's great. Sarcastic, that is not great.
Could have blocked the first time with that tracker. I am not playing very well today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Don't have don't have very good options. All right, so Lulu or Shen. So like if I if I go Shen challenge, I can't take Misfortune, so I have to challenge like Tracker. Um, if I go Lulu, then I guess I'll go Lulu. There's just a good chance that Lulu's gonna be dying in combat, but I can kill Misfortune. You're covered. Well. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Hey, what's up, Nick? <laughs> yeah. I'll write my own story. I am on, but we're not, we're not, not doing too well. Our opponents have had amazing hands. All, all three of our opponents have had just like perfect stuff. You know, like this is, uh, you know, like we're not getting any help from them. All right, so we're going to go with, and I wish Bright Seal Protector was good in this, you know, against Misfortune, it's just not. Hey, Shreve. Right, let's mess some folks up. This is incredible. Just don't want to give Misfortune two attacks. Love to have Rangers resolve right now. Feel the sizzle. That's how it's been so far, though, these, these three games. You know, Tracker into Warchefs, into Misfortune, into Bright Steel Protector to protect Misfortune, plus another one drop, into turn five, another Tracker, and a Grizzled Ranger. Let's just come on. Into the face. Pull this out just a little bit. Guns blazing. No dispute. Love ya. I guess it's best to kill this this thing as it's a grizzled ranger right now. I don't believe that's a problem at all, Gogon. Gogon said the problem is my opponents are playing old decks that have been refined for months and I'm playing something new. I don't think that's a problem whatsoever. These Petty Officers just hurt so bad this turn. Double Petty Officer on turn 6 because we're at 3 life and them just going wide. Um, you know, that's just a, that's a problem. Good guys, but not that good. My shield is yours. 
Honor dictates both our actions. All we have to do is attack with everything. We're dead. I'll do my no one goes hungry. Just have incredible hands. Yeah, it's, it's just three games of them having incredible hands. I did all I could. That's just... Yeah, like, I mean, look at that curve. Fleet Feather Tracker into war turn one, then War Chef's turn two. Misfortune turn three. Bright Steel Protector to protect Misfortune on turn four, plus a one drop. Turn five, Fleet Feather Tracker and Grizzled Ranger. And then turn six, Double Petty Officer. Turn seven, another Misfortune for the attack. And win after we finally kill theirs. These woods protect their own. Have we attacked with the Lulu yet? I don't think we have any of these games. Right? Like our Lulu has died every single time before we've been able to attack. Or it's been stunned a whole bunch. Open wide, sugar. I, I don't think it's a, a matter of we're playing new stuff, they're playing old stuff. It's a matter of them having top 5% of their possible hands. You know, if you... You know, like that... <clears throat> their hands are at, like, the very top of, like, what their deck can do. You know, maybe not the absolute perfect, but, you know, real close. Like, like top, like, 5%. Where we're just kind of having, Don't make me you. you know, top, like, like this hand right here is probably top, like, 40%. Like Let's finally attack with Lulu. Yeah, yeah, Lulu got stunned three times game one. They had three arachnoid sentries every single turn. And then, yeah, get excited game two, and then challenger game three. Card that does look just amazing every single time. This petty officer card is so good. And that card is good. Card we've been playing against a whole lot this this time. Five petty officers and they're just so good. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. Don't love any blocking I can do. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. I want to use repost this next turn. With having both of these Green Glade Caretakers in play. So they didn't do the obvious blocks of the 3-2 on the Lulu and then the 2-1s on the 1-2s.
I'm considering just playing Whimsy instead of Repose. But I do want to grow these Green Blade Caretakers. All they need is a warning shot to level up Gangplank. That would be a problem. I'll take my time. Your king has returned. Problem. That doesn't actually do anything. It saves us one life. Definitely wish this, this could be used on a champion, not just a follower. I feel really bad. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, sky's the limits. That's for whenever I play one deck for all of the whole Sunday. And I just play the same deck the whole time. I'm sorry because I can't win a game. We are getting wrecked by petty officers and stuff like that this whole time. So Twisted Fate Fizz. Um, I don't like, you know, this could be like a Make It Rain kind of deck, you know, just because it is bilge water and all that stuff. But usually this Freljord one is, is not really like that. I really need a challenger to go with this. I would like, like Fleet Feather Tracker. I do have Protege? We maybe just need some more challengers. To stay alive. I do love having War Chefs. That's a card. Um, 
that we haven't been seeing. That card is awesome. Do you love seeing some more chefs? Let's play that. We had War Chefs the first game, but no other game, and this is an important card. Definitely an important card of, of pumping up our, our things, being able to kill these three health units. Yeah, the single combats have been looking poor. Um, they're a lot better, you know, when we have Lulu and everything, but no, the, the single combats have not been looking good. That is true. Um... So our deck plays smaller units. It's better whenever we have like some barriers or, or Lulu or things like that. Decide instead of just playing one protege of having these two cards. I'd rather I'd rather kill the Starlet Seer, but the problem with challenging the Starlet Seer, I guess, is uh, Elixir of Iron. Like Brittle Steel, yeah. So Brittle Steel would kill either one, but Elixir. But we already saw them burn a a, a Brittle Steel, so it wasn't super likely that they had another Brittle Steel. I thought it was a lot more likely they'd have Elixir of Iron. So I want to grow the Shen up to being a 4-5 for this court to be able to challenge the Golden Narwhal.
<clears throat> I'm gonna want to have the single combat take down Starlet Sea, or probably, but maybe not. Keeping keeping the Young Witch alive is important to have an elusive because their deck is built around having large elusives. So that's gonna be an important aspect of the deck of having this as a blocker. Um. I'll just pass though. Instead of single combat on the Starlet Seer. We'll keep that mana, keep those options open. This would be a good winter. Taste the glory. I'll just pass. If they, so yeah, I'm trading Young Witch for Starlet Seer. I'll just take that trade. That's not me taking nine damage. That is good. I'll defend these boys to the end. This one should be over. Alright. It should be. So there we go. Um, you know, much worse than the other day, whenever we went 5-0. I don't want to just like, you know, stop recording, re-record, do a, do a new one. You know, I want I want to. I always try to show, um, you know, show you guys realistic things of of what happened. So it's not always not always great. Um, yeah, Bilgewater, Bilgewater cards. Really, we really struggled against those, against all the Bilgewater removal, Powder Kegs, Make It Rains, Petty Officer, um, that kind of stuff with our, our small units. Um, and, you know, we all, we're only playing 12 spells, but it did kind of seem like too much. Like, I had too many, like, dead kind of, like, single combats or even, like, Stand United in hand where our units were dying too much, and so then... Stand United is not going to really do very much, or same with single combat. We've had a lot of success with Stand United with um, having that level up Shen. It gets surprise damage in, being great with Green Blade Caretaker. In the past, that's not how today went. Hey, Ryokin, thank you so much. Thanks for the sub. Very kind. Thank you, thank you. Um, and that is our, oh, that's actually our first sub of the day. I didn't update that from yesterday. We had one sub yesterday. Cool. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, our, our units are pretty small, and we're, the, the, all right, so the strength of our deck is combat. We are really, really good at attacking, um, with, you know, Lulu, Shen, the challengers, we're great at attacking. And so weakness of our deck are decks that don't that don't care about combat too much and can, and can remove our units with spells. And we saw that here. A whole bunch of removal spells um, is pretty tough. Like a card like Young Witch, terrible against removal, but, you know, is good at, good at attacking because it, it survives with being elusive and it makes something else with that plus one, plus zero quick attack really good. Um, so that is definitely a weakness of the deck a way to improve that is to play larger units that uh, a couple of things one to play larger units that aren't as poor against removal spells or play more things that give you card advantage whether you know so things like grizzled ranger that gives you know it dies it gets you a loyal badger bear your Vanguard Sergeant, it, you know, like whenever you play, you get your Four Demacia, your Vanguard, you know, like these kind of cards that, that replace themselves. Even, you know, we took out the Chevalier for another Lancer, but Lancer does a good job of that also. Like like Swiftwing Lancer, maybe that's a card that we need as a three of. Like that's that's a card that, that looks pretty good the whole time because, you know, it's, it's not as easy to kill as a lot of other things. Um, that's why if we take out more Ionia cards, you know, you can play Bannerman, which Bannerman really helps out against removal spells. Um, but the problem is, is, is really like early on, is like the, the early drops. Our early drops are 
very vulnerable to removal because they're just they're just small. Like that's just how it is. Um, playing a third Rangers Resolve instead of the second Stand United would help out with that. Playing like that kind of stuff, like Rangers Resolve, maybe another Radiant Strike, like those kind of really cheap spells to have your units stay alive. Those would help out more than your more expensive stuff for, for those kind of matchups. Um, but yeah, single combat looked really bad. Uh, not not really bad. I don't know. That's not... But it, it did look pretty bad. Like, it was just a, a dead card whenever our opponents are just killing all of our stuff and our units are small. Like, the, the single combats did look pretty bad. That, that could definitely be a card to reduce in size. We'll have to keep seeing. Um, yeah, we'll have to keep seeing. The, like, the the matchup against, like, the Misfortune deck, I, I normally think the Misfortune deck is a wonderful matchup for us. I usually win the, those matchups fairly easily. I, I think that's a great matchup. But they had a, a perfect curve out, and so we ended up losing. Like, they, they really did just have an absolute perfect curve, and that happens, then we lost. Warchefs is going to be a really important card to have. We, you need need to draw Warchefs a lot more than I did. Do that mulligan and look for Warchefs. Like, whenever you're mulliganing, the the most important card to see probably out of anything is, is Warchefs, just in, in uh, blind matchups, just kind of across the board. Card is awesome. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I could I could see this being like take out even taking out a single combat and just playing an extra concerted strike where concerted strike can have two ally strikes something to be able to trade up better. That's a possibility. Or maybe just playing another Rangers Resolve instead of that to help out against um, make a rain and sweepers and that kind of stuff. I don't know. All right, well we're we'll move on to our next deck. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, yeah, leave those comments. Um, hopefully, y'all learn stuff from the video, um, you know, and uh, hopefully, y'all appreciate that I don't just always put in, you know, don't always just put videos of me winning all the time, because that's not how life goes. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some Lulu Shen, and I'll see you for the next video.